It's nearly two full days after the body of a previously missing five-year-old was found. Authorities are now back on scene in the area Kamari Holland was last seen alive. Investigators appear to be searching a house on Bowman Street in Columbus. Several unmarked law enforcement vehicles could be seen at a home on that street. Bowman Street is the area where Kamari Holland reportedly went missing in the early morning hours of Monday, December 13th. The little girl's body was found later that night at an abandoned house on 15th Avenue in Phoenix City. Meanwhile, funeral arrangements for Kamari have been announced. A viewing is scheduled for 3 to 5 p.m. on Tuesday, December 21st at Taylor Funeral Home in Phoenix City. There will be a private family viewing prior to the public viewing. The funeral will be held at 11 a.m. Wednesday, December 22nd, also at the funeral home. Adrian Davis, a cousin of Kamari's father, Corey Holland, has set up a GoFundMe to help cover funeral costs for Kamari's father, who is the legal guardian. She spoke with News 3 this afternoon. Very difficult time. It's been very difficult. Um, Corey is basically beside himself. Um, it's the reason why we're basically out trying to take care of everything for him. So far, the GoFundMe has raised almost $10,000 of the $15,000 goal. A link to donate is available on our website at WRBL.com. We're learning new details tonight about the man charged with capital murder in connection with Holland's death. News 3's Chuck Williams has been digging deeper today. He's joining us now with more. Chuck. Phil, the Russell County, Circuit, Russell County Circuit Court Judge David Johnson issued a gag order in this case, the, but public records can still talk. The 37-year-old Williams has a history of arrests, but no convictions that News 3 could find. Williams was charged with aggravated child abuse in a 2009 case involving a 3-year-old boy in Russell County. He was accused of immersing the lower half of the boy's body into a pot of boiling water. Williams' defense was the boy pulled the water on top of himself. A jury acquitted Williams in 2012. Williams was arrested August 1st of this year at his Columbus home, charged with two misdemeanors, simple battery, family violence, and cruelty to children, third degree. A police report states that Williams slapped his wife in the face and it was witnessed by a minor child. Williams was in state court just last week and entered a not guilty plea. His wife did not ask for a stay away order. Here's what Russell County Sheriff Heath Taylor said yesterday in a news conference before the gag order was put into place. <clears throat> he has several um, involvements in his past with children. Uh, he has a couple of um, cases where he was actually charged with abuse of children in Phoenix City and or here by a sheriff's office here in 09 and then he was acquitted by a jury in 12 of that case and then he has been charged in Columbus as well uh, of abuse of a child. In that news conference, Taylor also mentioned that Williams was the suspect in the death of a one-year-old in Alaska, but Williams was never charged. Phil? Thank you, Chuck. There are ongoing investigations into Holland's murder in both Columbus and Russell County. Yesterday, Sheriff Taylor did not rule out additional charges.